Hey what's up guys, it's Crafty Fox, and today we're going to be building the British Rail Class 143 and you might also know it as the Pacer Train because it is part of the family and a lot of people they don't like Pacer Trains because it is basically a bus on a rail so it's like a really cheap uh, train to make which is also a good thing you're going to save a lot of money with this uh, but when you ride it it's uh, very uncomfortable and uh, bumpy I guess. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to be making the Great Western livery right here, which is uh, dark green with the little uh, gray for the logo on the side. Uh, there is this first Great Western Railway livery that I had, and this is the one I, I originally made it because I saw it on the Wikipedia page. I thought it looked cool, but uh, it turns out I think they uh, discontinued this livery, just replaced it with the green one because... You know, they're two different companies, the first Great Western. I never heard of it until researching it for this video. But yeah, we're just going to be making the GWR one. All right, so uh, let's begin the locomotive. Uh, first thing we're going to do, let's take gray concrete, uh, two blocks above the tracks like this. And uh, it is going to be four blocks wide like our other British trains. So just be aware of that. It's going to stick to one side. So we're going to make it two blocks wide. And we're going to make it so it's 22 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 22, 1, 2, 2. And yeah. Let's do the other side. And these are uh, two cars in the train set. And they're basically the same car just flipped around the other way. So uh, you don't need to a whole different design for the second car. All right, so after we do that, let's take a stone brick slab, just add a row four underneath the front part, like this, and have a part that sticks out for the coupling in the middle, so double stone brick slab, then a stone brick slab sticking out like this. Let's go to the back, add uh, four stone brick slabs underneath like this and there will be the coupling which I have to make right here just align it with the front part like that and that will connect to the other car so after we do that we're going to take uh, this what's called stone brick stairs and basically we're going to line up the sides of this flooring like this just go all the way across Good thing about the pacer, it's not really complicated to make. It's really simple, which is part of its design as a cheap train. Actually, I actually think it was a pretty good idea putting a bus, <laughs> a bus on rails. That's really interesting. All right, so after you do that, we're going to make the front part. Take uh, oak wood stairs, have one in the corners, and then one in the middle like that. So that's going to be our yellow, which blends in with this yellow. So for that yellow, we're going to use yellow concrete, two blocks in the middle, like that. On the sides, we're going to take gray concrete. And in front of that is our stone button, like that. Then let's add the front windshield, which is a 2 by 4 of black stained glass block. On top of that is a four blocks, or rather four carpets of yellow. On the sides, we're going to add yellow banner because we need the yellow band that goes across, like so. All right, so now let's uh, work a bit on the bottom. Could take a stone brick slab, just to add two in the middle after the four, and there will be wheels. And the special thing about this, it doesn't have bogies. Uh, this train just has a single axle on each end of the car instead of like uh, two or more. So we're going to skip one away from this, then add two hoppers. And that is it. Go to the other side, and this could be a little more complicated. It's going to skip three, and then add two. So skip three, add two. Make sure you're doing both sides. So it should be like that. All right, so once we do that, we're going to add these little details at the bottom. Uh, first, we're going to skip one, add two. Skip one, add two. Look like at two by two, stone brick slab, then skip one, another two by two. 
Then skip one, uh, two by three. So this is three blocks long. Sort of messed that up. Sorry. Like so. And that is it for the bottom. Now let's add the green part. I'm going to use this dark prismarine because it's like the color that's most accurate. And we're going to make the C shape like this in the front. Other side, just pretty much clone the same thing. Uh, there is a difference, however, uh, this side does not have a door. You have to be aware of that. So there's two doors on this side, one door on this side. Well, they're double doors, so... <laughs> yeah, whatever, one pair of doors. Okay, so there's going to be a door in the front, like that. Just uh, have a pair. And then we're going to continue. You know what? We're just going to have a layer of dark prismarine going all the way to the back. Same thing on the side. Then we're going to take uh, polish andesite, add two above the doors. And the rest is dark prismarine all the way to the back. Same thing on the other side. Alright, so after we do that, we're going to connect these two at the end. And then put our another double door right here. Actually, uh, this, the other side, it doesn't have it. So, okay. So, gonna fill that back in. All right. So, next, let's add uh, polish and site on top of this door. And let's take stone brick slab. Just add two in the middle for the roof. Going all the way across back to the front. <clears throat> I did not add like that much roof detail <laughs> so that is it there is a nice curve however so uh, on the top level we're going to add gray carpet not the light gray just gray if you're thinking of making the first great western uh, it is pretty much the same locomotive it's just uh different livery so you just change up the colors a bit all right so after you do that uh what else oh yeah we need to add some more pillars so uh right next to this door there's going to be two black stained glass blocks skip a block two skip a block two and you're just going to pretty much do that until we reach the other side then do the same thing on the side but there's going to be an extra window so make sure that all lines up nicely. And fill in the middle parts with the dark prismarine. Other side, same thing. All right, so after you do that, we're gonna add the Great Western logo right here in the front. So there's, we're gonna skip this window and add it below the next one. So like the second window after the door in the front. Yeah, let's, uh, oh. What do we do for this part? Just fill it in, black stained glass block, like so. All right, so now let's add the gangway that connects the two locomotives together. Well, wait, did I just say two locomotives? I don't know how, I can, it's like a DMU. I'm not actually sure how you can classify this though. It's like a bus on wheels, but like, is it a diesel? Probably, I think it is. So I'm, I just filled in with uh, gray concrete. And just add a two by three cobblestone wall. Acting as the gangway of the other side. Yeah, we're just gonna add a uh, stone brick slab on this side like so. All right, so yeah, that is it on how to make the Pacer Train, one of the most hated British trains <laughs> ever, but uh, it's still cool to have, you know, they actually use it. So yeah, you just, to make the other side, it's just the same thing. You just flip it the other way around 180 degrees. And yeah, that is it. I hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you do, please hit that like button below. And subscribe if you haven't already because I will be uploading more train tutorial videos in the future. But anyways guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.